Welcome to another awesome kettlebell workout called Armageddon. I love this workout. What do you think? It's a good workout, guys. It's really good for your mobility. It gets the hips moving and um, getting down and getting up off the floor is something that we all need. And especially when you get older as well, you'll find that not a lot of people can actually bend down and pick things up off the ground or if you fall down. So this is a perfect workout to get those hips moving. And it's great to teach you to get up from the ground. We have got three tasks. Well, three tasks where we're working and two tasks in between where we're doing recovery work, mobility work. It's awesome. This workout is for strength, shoulder stability, and mobility. So task one is six times the kettlebell combo with a time cap of four minutes. So every time we're just gonna repeat that combo. Now that combo is single kettlebell, clean from dead. So the weight has to be dead. You can clean it any way you want, as long as you clean it from dead. Then you do a squat thruster to get the weight overhead. So a nice deep squat and thrust it up and get that weight overhead. Then a Turkish get up, reverse. So you're standing, you're going back into the Turkish get up, down to the ground and back up. Then the weight goes back to that. Then you do the other side. So that's one rep right there. We're doing six reps of the combo within a time cap of four minutes. That means you got 40 seconds per combo. You need to get one combo done within 40 seconds. Otherwise, you're not gonna make it. And if you don't make it within the time cap, then your task doesn't count. So the scoring is, since the time cap is four minutes, whatever seconds you have left. So let's say you finish your task in three minutes, 40. That leaves you 20 seconds left. So that's the remaining seconds. Multiply that by your weight. Now, since we're doing this three times, and in the beginning, you are uh, like fresh, you can go a bit heavier and also the reps are lower because we're doing six reps the first time you can go a bit heavier so that's could be your strategy so after task one we get task two which is mobility combo for six minutes and that combo is deep squat into horizontal shoulder abduction on both sides into knee extension into arms overhead into thoracic hyperextension into alternating lateral thoracic flexion so that's a combo where we're flowing from one movement that's good for the body to the next so we're working on the hips the ankles the thoracic spine the shoulders etc we're just going to repeat that combo for six minutes so that's task two then we get a 30 second countdown so that means for the full six minutes you can keep working on that combo because we got that 30 second countdown that allows you to prepare for task three task three is the same kettlebell combo with single kettlebell but this time we're doing eight reps so maybe your strategy is that you go down with the weight your first task will tell you if you listen to your body and you made it in time and you think you can do the same weight again, do it. Otherwise, drop down in your weight. Because remember, if you don't make the eight reps within the time cap, which this time is five minutes and 20 seconds, then it doesn't count. So after that, we get task four, which is six minutes of the mobility combo again, 30 second countdown. So keep doing your mobility combo for the full six minutes. 30 seconds countdown in which you can have a drink or whatever and get ready for task five the last task in this workout 12 times the kettlebell combo the time cap is eight minutes so as you can see we're going up with the reps every time so that means that you might want to go down with your weight time cap eight minutes then we get the warm-up which is we have three alternating cross knee to elbow three squats alternating body weight reverse Turkish get up and we do that for six minutes now we're also doing prep work in the prep work we're going to prepare ourselves for the workout and we're going to see what weight we can start with so it's like you're going to prepare for what's to come and figure out what weight to use because otherwise you might jump in to task one and your weight is too heavy and then you're not going to make it so in the prep work we are going to figure out what weight to use Everything is in here. We're working the spine from lateral flexion, 
to hyperextension and flexion as well. So your spine gets a good uh, workout and working on range, mobility, your shoulders, shoulder stability, we got strength, we got power in this workout, your squat thruster is power. And since we're starting with heavy weight, well, at least that should be your strategy. Uh, that was my strategy. Started with heavy weight, less reps, then lighter weight, more reps, then even lighter weight and even more reps. It's awesome, I love this type of stuff because you're going hard and it's mental as well, but you can do it. Your mental game comes into play. So you, you start to think, well, how many more? I even lost count as well, so I did a few extra. I'm gonna check later how many I actually did. It's also good for your coordination, hand-eye coordination. You'll actually feel a lot more sharper because you're doing left, you're doing right, and I've got to have this up and I've got to kick that leg out and then bring it back in. So yeah, it's, you have to think about it, but then after a while it becomes second nature. Yeah, the Turkish get up, it's, got the, it's a complex move. It's got a lot of uh, things to it that you need to perfect. And that's great. It's something that you can work on over time. So maybe it's not right right now, but as you keep repeating it and focusing on getting the hand placement and everything right, you're gonna love the TGU.